When you hear the word ship, you instantly remember the beautiful story of Rose and Jack, their tragic ending, and the magnificent ship where it all went down, the Titanic. At the time it set sail in 1912, the RMS Titanic was the largest and most luxurious ship ever created, with thousands of people leaping for the chance to sail with the ship when it went on its maiden voyage. But as many of you know through the movie or finding the facts yourself, this unsinkable ship met a tragic fate with most of the passengers passing away. In the years to follow, several mind-boggling details about the ship were discovered, with each one more shocking than the last. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the strangest facts about the Titanic. Prepare to have your jaws dropped. Number 10. A book may have predicted the disaster. First published in 1898, the novel Wreck of the Titan told the story of a luxury liner named Titan that was called unsinkable, only for it to sink to the ocean floor when it came across an iceberg in the North Atlantic. Sounds eerily similar, right? The shocking part of the book was that it gave precise details similar to what happened to the Titanic, and the measurement of the fictional ship also matched with the Titanic. So, when the ship met its dreadful end a decade later, many people believed that the book foretold the future, and that the author Morgan Robertson was a clairvoyant. Robertson dismissed the claims, saying that he based the events of the book on his knowledge of the sea, but you can never be too sure. Number 9. It took decades to find the shipwreck. You would think that finding the remains of a ship as large as the Titanic would be a piece of cake, but explorers will tell you that it was anything but. After the RMS Titanic sank, many attempts were made to find the wreck of the famous ship, and you could almost feel the desperation reeking out of the researchers, but all their efforts yielded nothing. While most people knew the time and day that the ship sank, there wasn't a lot of information regarding the exact location where the incident happened. Considering how huge the Atlantic Ocean is, looking for a wreckage without knowing the exact location was like looking for a needle in a haystack. More than 70 years later, when most had given up the search, an explorer named Robert Ballard founded the Titanic when he was looking for two sunken submarines. Ballard and his team became the first people to ever see the wreck of the Titanic and opened up the door for further exploration of the most famous ship in history. Number 8. The youngest passenger was two months old. People of all ages and walks of life were part of the first cruise of the Titanic, but perhaps the most famous of all was Milvina Dean. She was two months old when she survived the sinking, and she was part of a few third-class passengers that survived, along with her mother and brother. Unfortunately, Milvina's father didn't get to live along with his family. As the youngest survivor, she received a lot of attention, with people lining up to take pictures of her, while other passengers struggled to hold the little bundle of joy that survived one of the most tragic incidents in human history. Number 7. Major news outlets reported no casualties. When information about the event got out, news outlets were at a loss for words. After all, how would you report to millions of people that the unsinkable ship had sunk? This was why some newspapers informed the masses that no lives were lost and that the ship was so strong that it managed to get to shore even after it hit an iceberg. The newspapers may have passed such dubious information in order to calm those who were frantically looking for news about their loved ones or to preserve the glorious image of the Titanic, but that doesn't make it any less disturbing. Number 6. Some of the victims were never found. Close to 1,500 people died when the Titanic sank, and some of the passengers remain unknown. Some passengers traveled under false names to hide their identity, making it difficult for their loved ones to discover if they survived or not, while most of the bodies were never recovered. About 340 of the victims were wearing life jackets and were found floating days after the wreck, but more than 1,000 bodies are nowhere to be found. Some experts believe that hundreds were trapped in the ship when it sank, but the nature of the sea and the deep-sea scavengers made it impossible to find any well-preserved body, even though some other items like clothes and shoes were found in the wreckage. 
Do you think some bodies can still be found? Well, that's something we may never know. Number 5. There weren't enough lifeboats Among the many questions asked about the Titanic, there's one that keeps being repeated over and over again. Why weren't there enough lifeboats? You would expect a ship carrying over 2,000 people to make enough preparations for safety, but that wasn't the case. The luxury liner only had 20 lifeboats, and in the crisis, the boats were pulled away from the ship either half full or less than that. The RMS Titanic was originally meant to take closer to 40 lifeboats, but the owners of the liner placed space and beauty above the safety of their passengers. They believed that having too many lifeboats would take up a ton of space on the deck, and passengers wouldn't be able to enjoy the beautiful panoramic views of the ocean as they took leisurely strolls around the boat. While they will never make the same mistake again, it's sad to think that more people could have survived if there were more lifeboats. Number 4. The Musicians Played Till the Bitter End the RMS Titanic was filled with people from all walks of life. There were world-class chefs to attend to the needs of the wealthy on the ship, several cleaners, and of course, musicians. These musicians filled the rooms of the Titanic with wonderful music during its maiden voyage and played a heroic role during the sinking of the ship. Knowing that music has a way of calming people during scary events, these musicians put aside the need for their own safety sat on the deck with their instruments in hand and kept playing as the ship gradually lowered into the sea. Seeing how these eight musicians tried to give hope to others will forever go down in history as one of the most remarkable feats of humanity and heroism. Number 3. The richest man in the world may have been on board. The Astors are prominent in the world of real estate, and in the early 20th century, John Jacob Astor IV was at the top of the food chain. He was one of the prominent passengers on the RMS Titanic, and probably the richest man in the world at that time, with a net worth of $85 million, which today is about $2.3 billion. He came aboard the ship with his 19-year-old wife who was pregnant at the time, but he never made it back to American soil. His pregnant wife survived because women and children were saved first. His wealth was split among his family members, and the Astoria Hotel which he built was merged with another hotel belonging to his cousin to form the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Number 2. The same nurse was aboard all three sister ships. Violet Jessup has seen it all. She was one of the few people that survived the sinking of the Titanic, where she worked as a stewardess after reluctantly applying for the job. Her friends thought working on the Titanic during its maiden voyage would be a shining addition to her resume. However, this wasn't Violet's first near-death experience. She once worked as a stewardess on the RMS Olympic when it collided with a British warship. After facing two tragic events with the same company no less, most people would be scared of going out to sea again, but not Violet Jessup. Despite her experiences, she wanted to continue her work as a stewardess and was aboard the HMHS Britannic as a Red Cross nurse. Unfortunately, the Britannic hit a German mine and began to sink just like the Titanic. Luckily, most people were saved, and Violet was one of the survivors. With the number of shipwrecks Violet has survived, she is either a cat with nine lives or an extremely lucky woman. Number 1. No Engineer Survived There is so much already known about the tragedy of the RMS Titanic, but little is said about the engineers that tried their best to reduce the panic and chaos of the ship when it began to sink. All 35 engineers didn't make it out of the ship, but instead stayed at their posts to keep the ship from sinking and maintain electrical power to send distress signals to nearby ships. Although the ship did eventually sink as we all know, their efforts to keep the ship afloat for as long as possible gave passengers a solid chance at survival. The Titanic will always be one of the most famous ships in history, with so many stories surrounding it. What's the strangest thing you've heard about the Titanic? Tell us about it in the comment section down below, and stay tuned for more amazing videos.